Tara, good morning. Um, thank you for coming. I want to explain to you a little bit more today how pain works. Um, when people have pain that lasts longer than it's supposed to, they get a little bit of worried and they wonder, why is this going on? Why do I still hurt? And um, I want to share something really neat with you today. Simple, easy story and see if you can follow along. If you have questions, ask. This is your session and um, we can go any direction you want to. Is that, that okay? All right, I want to show you a simple little picture and ask you, if you step in a rusted nail, do you want to know about it? Yes. Why? Because um, there's a nail in my foot. There's a nail in your foot, right? Yeah. To, to tell you there's a nail in the foot. So we can take the nail out, get a tetanus shot, and go get help for it, right? And then also it teaches us to wear some shoes or run nails. It teaches us something, right? So the question always comes is, how do we know there's a nail in the foot? We can always see it, right? But our body actually has a very sophisticated alarm system. So if you watch this, this is the body's nervous system. We have 400 nerves in our body. If you total them all together, it's about 45 miles. And they work like an alarm system. And so to show you very simply, every nerve in your body has a little bit of electricity in it. It shows us you're alive. You're alive, right? You're not, you're not yes. dead. Good. That's, that's excellent. Good. So every nerve has a little bit of electricity and they're just buzzing along enjoying life. Um, they go up and down depending on what happens during the day. We've got good days, we've got bad days, and they just kind of flutter all the way around. But you'll notice there's a level, there's a firing level. When nerves reach that level, they send us messages, all right? So the nerves in your body, they just flutter around enjoying life. When we step into a nail, such as this picture here, the alarm system activates. The alarm system activates, raises up, raises up, hits a threshold, and then zing, it sends a message from our foot to our spinal cord to our brain and says, there's a nail in the foot. Our brain in this case will produce pain to stop us so we can stop. Wait a minute, what's going on? Oh, I got a nail in my foot. Then we take care of it. We pull the nail out, get a tetanus shot, and start wearing shoes, right? Basic, simple concept. Same thing is if I were to hit you in the arm right now, the alarm system will activate in your arm and tell you, my therapist is a jerk, right? It tells us something. That makes sense? Yes. Okay, fair, fair enough. Don't worry, I won't hit you. Okay. If we pull the nail out of the foot, what will happen to your alarm system, theoretically? It should go down. It should go down, right? So the alarm system will go down and down and down and down. Has this ever happened to you? Have yes. You, it has happened. Good. Was the pain gone immediately? Not immediately. It kind of takes a day or two, doesn't it? The alarm system slowly floats down. It doesn't go from 10 to zero. It goes slowly down, down, down. This is normal and it happens in everybody the same way. That makes sense, right? Yes. Now, here's the important part for us today. We're almost done with this little session. In one in four people, the alarm system will activate. So we hurt our back, our neck, our knee, our shoulder, we sprain our ankle. The alarm system activates. Ding, 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 go get some help. But the alarm system, instead of coming down and down and down to its resting level, in about one in four people, the alarm system decides to set or rest at a much higher level. We call this an extra sensitive alarm system. So now we've had an injury. Tissues heal, but the alarm system has activated but remains extra sensitive. And now we become sensitive to other things. Does it make sense? Does yes. it begin to make little sense for you? Good. Well, here's the important one, and I really want to show you that people often tell us help them a lot. If you look at the alarm system here, before you develop your pain, there was a lot of space to do stuff. You could go run, you could work out, you could take care of your family, you could drive, you could stand, you can sit, no problem. But since you developed your pain, you tell me you can only sit for five minutes, drive 20 minutes, run a quarter of a mile versus three miles. And we believe a big part of that is your alarm system has now become so sensitive that it sends a message that I'm under threat quite easily. And so when people hurt for things that shouldn't really hurt, they worry, they think something's wrong. And actually a big part of it is a very sensitive alarm system. Does that make sense for you? Yes. Okay. I thought I'd tell you another story. At your house is an alarm system, right? Around your house is an alarm system. When does the alarm go off or should go off? When someone's trying to break in. And somebody breaks in, right? So they bash the window out, the alarm goes off, ding, 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 we go get some help, right? The police comes, good. Well, in your case, your alarm system has now become so sensitive that when a leaf blows by your house, the alarm goes off. So your system has become super sensitive. That's why you're hurt. That's why it seems like it's not getting any better. Although the tissues have healed, and tissues heal in about three to six months pretty well, we always joke and say ankle sprains get better with or without therapy. You can get better without therapy, but just give it some time. Tissues heal. They're designed to heal. But when pain lasts a long period, the system has become sensitive. So the last one, as we finish off real quick, people often ask us, wait a minute, why did this happen to me? It didn't happen to my neighbor. And they had the same injury I had. Well, this little picture shows you there are many things that happen around the time of the injury. So we have stress, we have family issues, we have worries about the economy, all those kind of things. All of those impact this alarm system. So... 
if you hurt yourself and you go from one doctor to another, therapist to therapist, chiropractor to chiropractor, you go from treatment to treatment to treatment, it doesn't work. It helps for a little bit, but it doesn't really work. Will the alarm system come down or stay up? Stay up. I'll stay up, right? If one of the therapists says it's a muscle, another therapist says it's a joint, another therapist says, no, it's definitely not that, it is something, it's the way you sit. As long as you don't know what's causing it, will the alarm go down or stay up? No. Or stay up, right? In between all of this, we have worries about our job. Will I lose my job? I'm taking a lot of time off from work. How does it impact my family, money, all of those? With all these concerns we have, the alarm system remains extra sensitive. And I want you to understand that's normal. Unfortunately, it just keeps the system sensitive. And so, yes, we damage tissue, they heal, but the system ramps up. And all these things that go on around this time keeps it sensitive. That makes sense? Yes. All right. Well, I have a little homework for you. Before you come back next time, I want you to do two things for me. Number one is go think about everything I told you today. Think about it. Really consider everything I said and come back with any questions. Yeah, but I saw this on the internet. Oprah said that. My neighbor said this. So we can discuss this. Keep going. I want you to understand more about your pain every single day. And the second thing is I want you to make a list of things that you think in your case with the pain you have that has kept your alarm system sensitive. So go back to the time you injure yourself, maybe some of the treatments, your thoughts, all of those ideas, and let's make a list of all the things so we can start dealing with and figuring out what we can do about those. Make sense? Yes. All right, I'll see you next time. You've got some homework to do, and um, I'll see you next visit. Thank you.